Hello Gadotians, GD Script Dude here with another video in the series about our Tetris inspired game development. So in this one I'll try to finish the GUI development and let's see where we are at the moment by playing the GUI scene. We can see that the screen size is not ideal and the panel stretches we'd rather it stayed in one place so let's fix those issues okay so let's zoom out a bit move this let's stretch the panel I'll just click on that the panel itself let's resize it so it just encompasses the contents and then play the scene and this time yeah it's fixed in position okay so what we want to do now is make the screen a different shape so something like that maybe so let's just go in and to the project settings find the window the display window setting and we will make it the other way around to this instead of landscape portrait style so 600 wide and then 1024 high let's just see if we've got orientation we want to be portrait so let's select portrait let's close and then we should have a big enough window let's check it out Yes, big enough. Now what would be good would be to have this, that's grown again, but also have this centered in the, the middle of the viewport. First of all, let's, let's correct this problem again. Oops, that's it. Just resize it up there. Okay, now let's um, change this root node to the, a center container change type center container change and make it fill the viewport so in layout we just click full rectangle and we can see everything's centered the problem is um, we've lost the panel so we want to add the panel back so add panel container create and then find it as a, as a sibling node there and let's call it just panel shorter word and move the contents the elements into the panel and then we have what, what we want let's just run the scene and now well, we get an error look because we changed the root node to a center container but the code, the attached script is extending a panel container so we just need to correct that up here instead of panel we've got the center container then run the scene again and it's working perfectly nicely centered okay now the next thing we can do is put put in a pop-up window for the about functionality so let's close this find the about button there it is and in the node the node panel of the editor we get access to the signals so when we press the about button we can connect to the signal that it produces for button down so double click that and it's going to create a method called on about button down and we will connect this to our script which is in the GUI node so click connect and then it has created the script here in our script okay do, let's do the same for all of the buttons while we're at it so double click connect and then the pause button double click 
connect music button double click connect and now we have yeah we've got all the four button uh, uh, signal handlers there so what I would like to do is emit signals or a signal from this uh, this scene the GUI scene that can be picked up by outside scenes like the main scene so let's let's have this one signal and call it button pressed okay and then it will need a parameter that that says which button was pressed so button name for example and for each button now we will add this we will emit this signal like the buttons individually emit a signal which is connected in this script so we'll for each signal handler we will actually emit emit the signal called uh, that we just defined called button pressed so we type in emit signal and oh, should have yeah this button press and then the name of this um we'll just say pass about is the name and then do a similar thing for the other buttons so we'll just cut and paste this code replace the, that line there replace that one and this one And let's just remove some of these new lines, make it more compact. Okay, so button pressed about, and then button pressed new game. New game. And we have on the pause button. So pause and music button. So now each time any of those buttons are pressed, they all emit uh, a button press signal with the name of the button that was pressed. Let's just run it, see if it works okay without errors. Yep, so of course it doesn't actually do much because of the, we haven't responded to the signals yet. And okay, now we want to have a pop-up window for the about box. So go to GUI and then uh, add a new Collapse that down. Add a new child node called uh, pop-up, but which type of pop-up we want? Not the very basic we want. We'll go for a yeah. Why not a window dialog? Create that, and let's go to the inspector for it and look for somewhere to add the dialog. We can put a title for it, but there's no dialogue, so let's change it to another type of pop-up. Change type to, ah, oh, there we go, an accept dialogue. Change that. And uh, let's look here. We have, now we have dialogue available as a text property. So what we can do, we can go to our game design document and cut and paste the um, instructions for controlling the game and paste them into here. There we go. And to see what the pop-up looks like, we click here to make it visible. And it says alert. It's a, we don't really want it to say alert. Um, oh, there we go. We could change that change it to um, about the game or I oh, will give it the game's title Tetron yeah that will do so that is that and uh, we could give it a different name apart from window dialogue um, I could say call it about box 
or about, no, about box will do. So to make it actually pop up, normally it's hidden, we will go to the script and yeah, let's find the code for our about button uh, press handler. This one here. And let's let's get access to the node called about box by the shorthand method of typing in a dollar sign followed by the name of the node. Then we want to pop it up, but centered. So we we use the function pop up centered. Okay, and now let's test it. Run the scene. Click the about button. And okay, to close it, about or this, or simply clicking somewhere else and it closes. So that's it working. And that is the complete GUI. So I'll see you in the next video and if you like this one please click the like button and if you're not subscribed yet why not subscribe. Okay see you.